Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk about a book, Managing the Professional Services Firm. Now this is a business book that's very different from most of the books that I reviewed on this channel. This book goes into detail about how you can build and sustain a business that relies on highly skilled professionals. And this book was of great interest to me because many of the books I've read on entrepreneurship and business building talk about how you can build a business based on systems that doesn't necessarily rely on any one person. And this is an idea that's really popular in small business entrepreneurship, all the literature around those topics, because many people get wrapped up in the idea of building a system that they can run almost in a hands-off way. This is expressed commonly when people talk about building a business where they're working on the business instead of in the business. The idea that they're gonna build this system and they're just gonna tinker with the system from the outside and monitor it. And when people get caught up in this idea, they get really excited about the idea of building a business system that's not reliant on any one individual. This is especially popular when people will talk about or reference the book, The E-Myth Revisited, which kind of started many books in this genre that talk about this dichotomy between working in your business and working on your business system and how the way that you get to this point where you're outside of your business is to build this system that can't be ruined by any one person. You can swap people in and out and the business isn't gonna necessarily rely on them. And this is great, this is really good, but there's a whole nother side of the spectrum to building a business which talks about you wanna find the right person. This is expressed in business books like the book Who Not How by Dan Sullivan, where the whole book is talking about how you don't necessarily wanna focus on exactly how you're gonna do something, you wanna focus on recruiting the right person. And when you think about it, it seems like these ideas are almost contradicting each other. One of them focuses almost exclusively on the system and says that you should not focus on the types of people you have and you should be able to hire a range of people to execute these specific processes in your business. And another one says that there's that exact right person that's gonna fill this seat and is gonna make your business move forward. I think we all know that the reality is somewhere in between where your business needs to have systems to grow but it also needs to have the right people. I think it's important to look at just the history of business literature, kind of the precedence that we have for understanding what type of people do we need to hire and how much should we depend on those people to move our business forward. And there's a specific type of business that's really gone as far as you can, as far as we can go to answer this question. And this type of business is called a professional services firm. Now it's a really common type of business that many people know of when you think of something like a law firm, an accounting firm, consulting practice, and you think of some of the biggest names in the world. There's some of the best known law firms that work with all the Fortune 500 companies, just like there's some of the best known accounting firms. You think of the big four accounting firms or big management consultant firms like Boston Consulting Group, McKinsey, Bain. There's a whole list of these professional service organizations which rely on highly talented individuals to be able to charge the premium prices they charge for their service. In fact, their whole business model revolves around having the highest level of talent in these specific individuals that they're recruiting and training and indoctrinating into that culture of high performance, high talent, high skill. So this isn't the type of business that you can execute just by setting up the right systems and hiring a bunch of different types of people to fill those roles. It's a business that explicitly relies on highly skilled, highly talented, highly competitive people in these roles. Now, this isn't to say that everyone that works at these companies needs to be the exact same type of person. In fact, at these firms, there's a specific type of split between people that are hired for the consulting roles and people that are hired, hired internally to fulfill what's known as staff roles within a professional services firm. But what's interesting about David's book is that he goes into the main business models you can have as a professional services firm and how it alters the skill level and types of employees you're gonna hire. Specifically, he talks about the main problems for professional services firms, which is being either understaffed or having staff that's underutilized and how you can understand what mix of services and clients you need to have to best utilize the talent that you have internally. He also talks about how to go into recruiting that talent, training that talent and staying competitive because the interesting thing about this type of business is that a professional services firm operates 
in one sense, almost like a two-sided marketplace in that they're constantly competing for that high-level talent that you're selling to clients, and then you're constantly competing for the highest level clients to be able to utilize that talent at that level. Because at the end of the day, a large part of this business model is being able to pay enough to keep the highest talent individuals around in the business. So I really love books about professional service firms because they challenge conventional business thinking because you're directly going against many of the ideas business owners have, like undercutting for the performance that they want and getting lower priced personnel to fulfill roles that they need, not trying to figure out ways that you can give the client more service at a lower price. A lot of businesses are about how can I get the cheapest internal labor and how can I charge the highest prices? And in professional service firms, because of the competitive nature at both sides of your market, both with clients and for talent internally, you really have to optimize your systems for hiring and retaining clients at a much higher level than you would in other business models. But it's also very interesting because there's less competition if you can do it well, because these are the types of business challenges that most people just don't wanna deal with. David Meister, who wrote this book, Managing Professional Services Firm, he was a instructor at Harvard Business School where he taught specifically on these topics. He then went on to be a consultant for professional service firms for some of the biggest law firms, accounting and consulting firms in the world. And in this book, what I love is that he lays out everything that you need to consider while you're training and hiring people to be able to retain that talent and everything that you need to understand about positioning yourself in the marketplace based on the type of talent that you have within your firm. And one of the other interesting things he goes into is how you can align senior versus junior level personnel when you're talking about bringing people in to a highly skilled field. Now me personally, I work in advertising where there are individuals who have years and years of experience and do consider themselves highly skilled practitioners of media buying or advertising. In this case, a lot of these people do not wanna be hired and treated as a junior level employee or someone who's just coming in to fulfill a task and you know be on their way. These people consider themselves as highly skilled professionals and if they're not treated as such, they tend to move on to higher paying clients or better paying jobs. So a big part of this is really dealing with that dynamic between the employer and the person who's coming to perform a service. That idea that this is a highly skilled person that you really need to treat well or they're gonna be gone. Uh, it's an interesting dynamic and one you don't have to deal with in a lot of businesses. So if you're a business where you're challenged to be able to hire these high level talent individuals, you know, whether you're just trying to get the best web designer or the best engineer, uh, you know, anyone that's a highly skilled professional where you're gonna be, you're gonna be competing for that person uh, is really good to go in and understand the dynamic of how you can make a compelling offer to that type of person and how you can have the right internal environment to be able to retain those high level people, you know, who essentially in the long run are gonna be what help you retain clients and get more business anyway. So it should be something that all business owners are thinking about, but especially if one of your core products or services rely on any highly talented individuals. So again, that's not to say you shouldn't go read all the business books on building systems. Systems are super important. Uh, David talks about systems in this book, but I thought it was super interesting because it deals with many of the business challenges that other business books just don't even address because these are some of the retaining talent in order to be able to bring in higher level clients. It's one of the most difficult issues that any business is gonna have to face. And you think about all the biggest companies in the world, one of their biggest problems is how to compete for the highest level talent. So if you're running a business, you're trying to grow it, this problem is not gonna go away. I can't recommend this book enough. Again, it's Managing the Professional Services Firm by David Meister, and you can look him up on the web as well. He has his own blog. I know he used to do consulting in this area and he's now retired from active consulting, but his blog is still a treasure trove of knowledge on how to hire, recruit, train, and retain the best talent in the world, so I can't recommend it enough. Anyway, I know this video was a little different from what I normally do. Hopefully you guys got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, comment below, letting me know what you thought of this book and this review. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see on this channel or any other books that you guys want me to review. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified anytime that I come out with videos just like this. And as always, thank you guys for watching.